This is One Minute with Manny Mill. Our format is simple. We'll let our Heavenly Father begin the conversation by reading from the Bible, and then we'll respond in prayer, using that scripture as the foundation for our praises, confessions, and petitions. Here we go. Rejoice in the Lord, all you righteous, for praise from the upright is beautiful. Praise the Lord with the harp. Make melody to him with an instrument of ten strings. Sing to him a new song. Play skillfully with a shout of joy. Oh, Father, we here see in this, in this psalm, at the beginning of this psalm, that you are a joyful God, that you enjoy the music, that you enjoy the melody, that this Bible, this word is a rhythm. It's a rhythm. It's a crescendo. You love, Father, this, this, this music that you want your people to sing to you. You want us to sing a new song. You have made us in your image. You have created this whole universe, the stars, the galaxies, Father. And then us human beings, Father, you made us very special, very special in your very image, Elohim, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And Father, you made us with great creativity. Oh, so you want us to sing a new song, to play instruments, to create instruments, to see this music of our voice of joy sing to you. So here we are, praising you in the midst of crisis, praising you in the midst of trouble and adversity, knowing that you're going to come through for us. You've done it before. You will do it again. You're a God that will never leave us nor forsake us. You love it when your people praise you and raise their voice in adoration of you. And yes, and yes, you move in the midst of that music. You also dance with us and we dance with you. And you enjoy the creativity and the music of your people, even like myself, when we don't sound too good, when we just make a joyful noise. And you are happy for that because we're doing it unto you. We're doing it unto your glory. We hallow your name, even with our misses of the beat, even when we cannot carry a tune like myself. You enjoy that because it comes from the new heart that you've given us in Christ. So we love you. We praise you. We adore you. We lift up our arms to you. We, we lift up our voices to you in gratitude for being so good and so awesome to us and so faithful. We love you, Father. Give us an extreme heart of gratitude that we will worship you in the spirit and in truth. In Jesus' name, I pray in the power of the spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Friend, we must do as we just read. Rejoice in the Lord and sing a new song. Although from our perspective, Fanny Crosby's hymn, To God Be the Glory, is an old song, to the author of Psalm 33, Fanny's words celebrate a new an even more glorious reason to praise the Lord, the work of Jesus Christ. Join me. To God be the glory, great things he has done. So loved he the world that he gave us his son, who yielded his life an atonement for sin and opened the life gate that all may go in. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son and give him the glory, great things he has done.